Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can configure Azure File Share uh, in any PC. So first you need to configure the Azure File Share in your uh, Microsoft Azure account, and then uh, you can uh, attach this uh, File Share drive with uh, any um, um, desired workspace that you want. So it is basically using an SMB protocol and uh, network file system NFS protocol to connect. Uh, so what is the usefulness for Azure file? It is actually replacement or supplement of uh, on-premises file server. Uh, it's a lift and sheet application, uh, simplify cloud uh, development uh, for using for uh, diagnostic share or, you know, dev test debugging. And the key benefits are very easy to use and it is, uh, you know, shared access, fully managed, uh, scripting and tooling. Uh, so it is very easy if you want to uh, use this, you can very easily use this uh, personally i have uh, using one file share uh, service in here so let's uh, go to the demo how you can configure this so first you need to looking for a storage account so you need to create a storage account If you don't have any resource group, just create one. Say file share. Give a storage account name. Select your region. Now select the primary uh, services in here you can select Azure files. So I'm using the standard one. Uh, you can use the premium one. So difference is standard one is an SDD and premium one is SSD. So SSD would be fast uh, but it's also very pricey. So now I'm using pay as you go file share model. I click on next. Uh, keep uh, all those as it is. If you wanted to use the uh, SFTP, you can click on in here. But you need to enable this one. So I don't need that. Uh, click on next. Networking. Keep it as it is. Uh, okay. Enable soft delete for blob. Enable soft delete for uh, container. Yes. Uh, this is for the safety because if you wanted to uh, delete is it will be uh, permanently deleted so uh, it's uh, better to uh, enable these uh, options uh, encryption type is okay microsoft manage keys mmk no issues in here click on next next and then it will uh, do some validation So actually there is an error and the error is it should be you know uh, uh, given earlier uh, the file share storage name is already taken so I have to change the name let's say given 0001 now try to create Okay, validation is done. Click on create. So it will create in here. So it will take some time. Okay, once uh, the deployment is done, click on go to resources. So in the resource, you see this is your uh, file share uh, resource that uh, file storage account that you uh, just created so here you will uh, get the details in here mm -hmm. so now uh, come to the file share part uh, you need to click on here data storage you will find this option file shares so click on file shares To 
will take some times now Okay. Uh, some issues, maybe the connectivity issue. Let uh, refresh it. Okay. So then you click on this option, new file share. So see its maximum capacity is uh, 100 terabyte so once you click on uh, plus file share it will have some options so let's say uh, give it name Transaction optimize. Uh, no need to backup, enable backup. Okay, you can enable backup in here. Uh, in my case, okay, I'll enable the backup. Okay. Uh, sorry for that. files backup backup is done next one is review now click on uh, okay in the backup it will take the schedule backup any you see time okay, no problem now validation is passed click on create So my uh, file uh, share server uh, is configured as you can see in here uh, this is the name of the file uh, server and this is the quota 100 TB so if I want I can uh, edit this let's say for now I want uh, Let's say I want 500 GB. So it's roughly uh, 4.8 terabyte. So now uh, here are the options. Uh, so this is the uh, properties. So if you have any issues, you can you know uh, edit this in here. Like you know, soft delete is for. Uh, 14 days you can uh, configure it uh, as per you need so let's connect this so first connect this one so in here is an option for connect so uh, when you connect in the windows let's use uh, connect as a drive later so it will uh, give you the script and you can copy this script and run the PowerShell of your PC as an administrator. Click on yes. You can paste it. Uh, it sometimes it might fail because um, most of the PCs, you know, uh, 445 port might not be, uh, you know, uh, available. So, credential error successfully.
So once you run this, uh, it will uh, you know add it as a Z drive in your PC, uh, but you need to restart the PC. So uh, before I restart my PC, uh, I can I will show you another way that you can mount uh, this drive, this uh, you know share in your PC. So to do that, you need to uh, copy the share URL. Now add a network location. Click on next. Choose a file the, in the internet. Just uh, paste this one and remove the HTTPS one. Now click on next. So first uh, browse. Okay, no, maybe this is uh, not. Uh -huh. Working, let's uh, okay. let's copy this one. Try to open. Yeah, it's opening. So this is the correct address. My application so one in here is this one on next on next and finish so here you will have your uh, file share drive in here so when you click on connect and in the script you will find the file share location path okay so just copy this one okay so this one you can easily copy now uh, this is uh, it for this uh, video and in the next video i will show you how you can use this drive to connect with a Jellyfin server to make your own, uh, you know, uh, hosting uh, app where you can uh, store your movies and uh, files and you can access it directly in your uh, Android device or iOS device or from your PC. So in the next video, I will show you that for today. Uh, this is it. Thank you.